business executives jog to relieve tension. Others take long lunch breaks. Bob Rule would rather walk the dog or rock the baby. We'll show you the king of the yo-yo tonight on Bronx People on the scene at 10. And here's Bill Hall to wrap up the weather. Story. Okay, Dan, we'll have a... This is the scene at 10 with Dan Miller, Bill Hall, and Charlie McAlexander. Good evening. In tonight's news, oil decontrols will be costly to the consumer, an unusual way to dispose of marijuana, and later this report. Bob Rule learned to yo-yo on the streets of Nashville. Now he's undisputed king from Maine to California. We'll meet this business executive who still keeps his hands into yo-yos a little later in the newscast on Bronx People. In, when he was a youngster growing up in Nashville, Bob Rule loved baseball, bicycles, and yo-yos. And when he got older and moved away, Bob gave up two of those boyhood loves, as John Funk reports in tonight's Funk's People. Bob Rule is one of those business management types who doesn't have time for the trivialities of other business management types. He doesn't play golf or tennis during working hours. He never takes long lunch breaks or attends cocktail parties with clients in the afternoons. No, Bob usually stays locked up in his office, working, working, working. At least, that's what everybody thinks. It's just kind of nice to come in. Actually, it's, an, it's, it's a pacifier. Now, the yo-yo has been recommended by psychiatrists um, to people that are, uh, that are high-strung. Uh, uh, they, they've used it as physiotherapy, so it, it's really it's a very popular uh, toy. Once upon a time, they called Bob Mr. Yo-Yo, among the three best in the country they billed him as when he toured for a yo-yo company. Well, the company went broke, and Bob took some savings and started his own business, completely unrelated to yo-yos. After all, you can't do it forever. So, as you can see, the boss does like to keep his hands in it. Now babies in the cradle and cats in the tree Walking the dog don't mean a thing to me Around the world been a long time gone There ain't a yo-yo made with a string that long is Psychological advantages or not, of course, all good things come to an end. And sometimes this yo-yo must be put away and serious business matters tended to. Oh, we forgot to tell you what serious business Bob is in. Well, actually, this is the business end of it, John. This is what puts the bread and butter on the table. Bob manufactures radio-controlled cars. You know, some guys are just workaholics. John Pronk, Channel 4 News, Marietta. What we have here is probably the greatest...